Hello and welcome once again to The Playmakers, brought to us by Zoom Video Communications. We're going to talk today about a great win over the Roosters last week. And to join me and talk about it is John Sutton. How are you going, John? I'm good, Marcus. How are you? Yeah, very good, mate. Obviously, a uh, great after win over the Roosters. Uh, how did you see the game yourself? Oh, look, it's always good to beat the Roosters, especially when you score 50 points. I think, um, you know, our attack really flowed on the weekend. I think, um, you know, our defence was there, but um, yeah, our attack was really good. Um, it was good to see Nico score a couple of tries and um, just the boys all around shapes all across the field was, um, you know, amazing. And, you know, that's what we needed and it was good to put a score on the Roosters. Yeah, and the, the Roosters have come out swinging um, in the press, obviously, over the last few days. And, um, you know, the, with the Latrell incident, obviously, it was bad luck for everyone involved. And, I spoke to Latrell after the game, and his his main focus was how concerned he was for Jay Manu, um, and he didn't speak anything about he, what suspension he was going to get. He said, "I just don't like hurting people like that," and that just sums it up. But that's not reported in the papers. Yeah, a lot of stuff does get reported in the papers, the good stuff. But um, you know, Latrell's played a lot of footy with Joey, and um, you know, I'm definitely sure he didn't mean to do it. It was just. Uh, Unlucky, unlucky, you know, incident. Um, you know, Latrell plays the game hard and fast, and um, you know, it just didn't come off right. Yeah, it's funny. I have a little bit of a, a sinister look at what's happening, and I, I've seen it over the years where coaches are struggling with performance, and that they tend to try and take the spotlight away from where it's been. Um, I had a look at our stats over the last two years. We've scored about 160 points against the Roosters. So an average of 40 a game. Uh, I'm not sure there's a bit of a deflection there. And they talk about, you know, Latrell being sent to the sin bin, et cetera. They didn't score a point in that time and we scored a try with 12 men. Yeah, it just shows that, you know, the boys are on. Um, you know, the Roosters didn't really throw much at us. And, um, you know, we did score you know, a try with our 12 players. So. Um, you know, we just got to keep worrying about us and don't worry about anyone else. You know, just focusing on what we can do. And um, obviously, you know, looking after Trell, you know, he's getting punished in the media, but we know what kind of bloke he is and what he means to this team. Yeah, you, you're right there, son. We, and Trell, Trell knows we're all behind him. You know, he's the first to admit it was something that went wrong. It was a, an accident. But, you know, he, he's the first to say he doesn't want to hurt anyone. And... Yeah, they're making all this thing out in the media about the punishment. Like, well, Latrell put his hand up straight away and just took the punishment. Said, all right, I've, bugged, I've stuffed up here. I'm taking the punishment. That's it. So, you know, there was no talk of wanting to go in and fight or anything like that. So that's a mark that he actually does feel remorse for what's happened. Yeah, definitely. I don't think, um, you know, Trell wanted to go fight anyone. He just wanted to check on a mate, you know, someone who's played a lot of footy with and and that's what kind of person he is, you know. He's a caring person, and yeah, I don't, I don't believe all the stuff that's on the media. It's all more bullshit. No, no, mate. The good thing about it, I can feel the vibe within the team that you know we got we got places to go in front of us. What's behind us? Behind us now, we got a new start, a new team coming in this week. We have got a lot of young players. Lockie Elias making his debut. Tao Tao Moga making his debut for the club off the bench. Davy Mawali comes back in. Blake Taft's going to fullback. So it's going to be great for all our members and fans and supporters to see, uh, you know, some of our younger players are going to be with us for quite a while, making their mark this weekend. Yeah, definitely. It's um, a great opportunity for all the players, especially the young players that haven't played first grade. Um, you know, I'm really excited for Lockie. You know, he's um, he's trained really hard this season. Um, you know, he never whinges or anything like that. And, He's got the game that I think, you know, can go a long way in the NRL and um, I'm really excited for him and, you know, can't wait to see him play this weekend. Yeah, another another little side note on that. I know that Benji Marshall has been one of his idols as he's grown up playing rugby league and I'm, I'm sure there's many players and kids out there that the same to them, but to be able to debut with him playing 5-8 with him, I think he'd be a calming influence on the weekend. Oh, definitely. You know, Benji's done it all and... Um, you know, Lockie's just at the start of his career and I'm sure he's learned a lot from Benji, Benji this year. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a dynamic 
uh, halves pairing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see how it goes. But getting back to the weekend, what about the performance of the goat, Mark Nichols? How good? Oh, he's just doing goat things, you know. Um, he just puts himself in those positions and score the tries, and we just need Cookie to keep finding him. Um, I think, you know, this year Nico's been one of our best in the middle. Um, you know, started on the bench, and now he's made that um, starting position his own. So, um, you know, I've really been really impressed by the way Nico's won this year. Yeah, since he's come into the starting side, we have improved our starts in games too. The, the big thing I've noticed is just his improvement with his footwork. He's, he's got a dummy as he goes to the line. He's got a good pass if he needs to. But he's asking questions of the defence in the middle of the field, particularly in good ball. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, he has got that passing game and, and his, his footwork is pretty good. He's got all the, all the skills, but he's also, you know, um, tough and he's been, um, you know, putting his body on the line and the way he's running, it's um, it's damaging. I think he's de deceptively strong too, you know, for his size. Like, he's not the biggest front runner in the game. He's tall and rangy, but, um, you know, he's got a good feel for the game and he understands what's around him. So his footwork and a spin here and there just puts him in the places he needs to be. And I think that comes back to experience. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, he's... Just keeps working on his game bit by bit, and um, he's got that lethal left left foot step. It gets um, it's get players standing still, and he can beat them either side. So, um, yeah, very impressed with Nico. And it's been it's been a great reward for him this week. Um, Wayne's giving him the captaincy of the club. So, anyone as you know, mate, you were so proud of it when you were captain of this great club, and he gets a chance to do it on the weekend. And I know he's really excited about it. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, um, it's a great honour to, to captain this club and, um, you know, I'm sure Nico will do us proud and, um, yeah, lead the boys out there and he'll be, he'll be proud himself to do that. Yeah, well, he deserves two tries. Two tries. He deserves to be captain by scoring two tries. Hasn't one of his mates got a bet that they've got to live up to as a result of a, the double? Yeah, so apparently when he was playing reserve grade, um, he made a bet with the mate if, um, he ever scored two tries in, in the NRL that his mate will get a tattoo of, I think, a little goat on, um, <laughs> on him. So, no, that's, it's awesome to see that kind of stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm <laughs> excited to see what these tatties. Yeah, he's um, just the boys love Nico. Like, you know, when, when Wayne announced he was, he was um, he got the players player last week. And when Wayne announced in the meeting the other day, he's going to be captain. They were, the almost standing ovation throughout the room, and uh, he loved it too, Nico. He's very proud of it. Yeah, it's going to be a, you know exciting for him, especially with the you know a young squad. They can look up to him because he's always leading up in the middle, and um, you know he's a champion bloke. So I'm uh, very happy for him. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to this week, Sutter. I mean, it's been a long time coming. The last game of the home and away series. And then the championship rounds begin. But uh, just looking forward, and everyone else out there, all the Rabbito brethren should be looking forward to how these young players, with some of our established players, perform this week. And one thing I do know, the bond is really tight. Yeah, it's always been tight, but obviously with um, everything going on, you know, the boys would have bunked it down and um, really had that um, good time, spent that time together and, and I'm sure they'll be firing this week and obviously leading into the finals. Well, I'm looking forward to it, Sato. I'm, I'm sure you are. Hope you and the family are safe down there in Sydney, as with everyone else in New South Wales and anywhere that's uh, struggling with the COVID. Keep turning the TV on when the rabbits are on. Uh, you'll see a great brand of football and it'll make 80 minutes of your life a lot easier during the week. So I'll see you next week, Sato. See you, Mark. Have a good one. Yeah,